In this video, we're going to share with you a five AWS real-world project for beginner that will not only challenge you, but will also help you to gain the confidence and hands-on experience you need so much. In order to get the most out of this tutorial, we really recommend you to just sit, watch, and learn each and every project we are sharing in these tutorials. And once you finish to watch this video, go and try each and every project. And don't worry if you hitting a roadblock, we're gonna release a YouTube video for each and every project. So subscribe now so you won't miss a thing. And by the way, guys, this is the second video in this AWS Reward project series. So if you miss our first video, go and watch it after this tutorial. So let's start with our first AWS real world project with serverless Jeep membership access. In this project, I will share with you how you can build amazing serverless system that will help gym owner to give their gym membership the option to enter to their gym through a face recognition okay and this is how it works basically so let's say they have a gym member a user that have his phone iphone android whatever and he want to enter to the gym so what he needs to do he's gonna take a selfie of himself a picture and he's gonna send this to our serverless gym membership access system and once this picture is uploaded it's gonna analyze the image and check if it's a user that this is in the collection or not and if yes he's gonna go to work out and if not they're gonna go back home so let's go and review our gym membership uh, serverless system and this is how it works basically i also gave number for each step so the first step is the user reaching out to our uh, front end using aws CloudFront and Route 53, the CloudFront is a cache uh, system and Route 53 is our domain register. And through that, we are reaching out to our front end that's sitting on AWS Amplify. And this AWS Amplify gives us the option to do post requests, okay, number four, post requests to API Gateway. Those post requests have two options. One, it's sign up. And the second one is a gym access, okay? So the first option that you're going to do is going to do the sign up. Basically, you're going to upload or the user or the one of the manager will upload a picture of the gym member. And this picture will be uploaded to S3 a bucket with, that will store the image. And once it's uploaded to S3 bucket, it will trigger AWS uh, Lambda. That this AWS Lambda will index the face with AWS recognition collection and will enter it to the collection. And once it's there and the process uh, working okay, it will save the user metadata like his first name, last name to a Dynamo DB. All of these are serverless service that AWS have in their amazing cloud. And once we finish with this step and we did the sign up, next the a G member have the option to upload this picture through again the front end that is host on AWS Amplify, send a request to API Gateway, our backend side, and this time you're gonna go to the route of gym access. This route will get a picture to AWS Lambda function that we define, and the AWS, AWS Lambda function will check if this face exists in the AWS recognition uh, collection, and if not it will uh, give him a response no you are not uh, it's you are you are denied uh, to get access to the gym or if yes it will pull his user data from aws dynamo tb it's a serverless table option or database option and then it will give answer okay you can go into the gym this is a very cool aws real world project that will help you to gain the confidence and end on the experience you need for your current job or for a future job. Also, I recommend you to try that. And if you eat a roadblock, follow our YouTube channel. We're going to release the solution. And by the way, guys, we just want to update that we are working on mastering AWS Cloud course. It's like AWS Bootcamp for beginner, where you will learn AWS Cloud 
by building and deploying scalable web application using three different architecture, the most wanted and demanded architecture of AWS. You have the EC2 instance architecture, you have the serverless architecture, and you have the container architecture. This course is designed especially for beginners who want to gain the confidence of AWS Enzone and get hired easily. You can check it now in the YouTube description below. And that's it for now. Let's go back to AWS Reward project number two, private and secure API. This is a legit real project that I've been taken from AWS website, AWS blog. And here, basically, you will learn and practice how to build a real private and very secure API, like how big company doing that, how they build their API, how they make it more secure, how they make it more private, and what is the right way to use the a public subnet, private subnet with API, a gateway private API. And let's start and review the solution. So we start with a user, like a visitor of the API or developer of the API, and they're making requests to AWS CloudFront. So this is the same thing as before AWS CloudFront pulling the uh, domain from AWS uh, Route 53, it's our domain registry, and AWS CloudFront is our cache uh, CDN uh, service of AWS. Once we're pulling the domain, we are doing requests to application uh, load balancer inside a, a VPC and this application load balancer is inside a public subnet. So this is the only thing we are exposing to the world. And if someone wants to attack us, they only uh, reach out to this uh, step. And this one is protected via AWS web application firewall. So you can configure and setting a firewall that will help you to detect a suspicious request and lower the option for them to attack you and gain access to other crucial services. So once we're doing that, we're going to our application load balancer to a private subnet. And there we define something unique that call a VPC endpoint for API gateway. You can define a private endpoint inside your VPC that it's mapping uh, to the route. You will know how to make the route to a specific uh, private API a gateway okay and this is where this happened in number six and seven and by defining that he will know how to reach out that request with the pad domain one will go to a private uh, a rest api uh, and will reach out to aws lambda domain number two will eat private api domain number two and will reach out to our aws eks and private api number three domain three will reach out to aws uh, ec2 Okay, so this is how you can define a private API gateway that every uh, route have its own uh, resource, own service, and how you can make it scalable, detach it from other services, and also make it private and secure. Please try this solution. This is like a legit solution that is deployed in, in big company, and we gain you a lot of knowledge and benefit and understanding how to build a secure solution. It's very necessary in today's world that we have a lot of suspicious users who want to take our service down. Please try this project. If you hit a roadblock, subscribe to our channel. We're going to release a solution. So let's go back now to AWS Real World Project number three, CICD pipeline for containers. So in our last a AWS project will release a solution for a EC2 with Node.js and now we're gonna release a solution for containers and now you can deploy a container to AWS cloud using CI/CD pipeline for container. So uh, let's start reviewing our solution. We have a developer that build a feature and then do a push to code commit. The code commit is connected to our code pipeline as a source and trigger our code pipeline. So the code pipeline is initiated and the first thing it's doing is taking a code artifact from the code commit and push it to S3 bucket that will be used right at the next step. So this S3 bucket is connected to our code pipeline and the next step is doing is going and activate code build and the code build pull the code artifact that we just pushed, the, ju the code pipeline just pushed and build an image, okay? Build the image of our code. 
And once the image is built, it's push it to Elastic Container Registry repository in our AWS cloud and let it sit there until the code pipeline starts the last step in our CI CD. So once the last step is started, we are going to trigger code deploy. Code deploy pull our image from the Elastic Container Registry and then it's deployed to EKS cluster. EKS is the last container service. That is basically, it's not the same, but it's similar to EC2 instance. And this is where we have our compute engine that um, running our image and the user can interact with that. So this is CI CD pipeline for container. It's very important and crucial step for developer who wanna gain knowledge and become a DevOps or for a junior DevOps who wanna a lender's first job, try it, and if you hit roadblock, we will release a solution in our channel. So let's review our AWS project number four, Kafka for beginners. And guys, if you don't know what is Kafka, it's very important for you at least to get familiar with it. So let's review very fast what is Kafka and what it's used for. So Apache Kafka is a distributed event streaming platform that is used for building a real-time data pipeline and streaming application. Apache Kafka is used mainly in microservices in order for one side to produce the event and for the other side to consume all, all the event using Kafka as a broker. And in our today AWS project with Kafka for beginner, we're gonna build some kind of a mini solution using AWS managed streaming for Kafka or MSK. So this project is especially for beginners that want to understand how it works. So on one side, we're going to have EC2 instance as a producer sitting on private uh, subnet. And on the other side, we're going to have a private uh, subnet again with consumer EC2 instance. The producer EC2 instance will publish, uh, will produce messages that will go to AWS manage streaming for Kafka or our Kafka application and this Kafka broker will send the uh, information to our consumer and while it's doing that we also gonna trigger AWS Lambda as Kafka as our trigger as data that coming in and once we're getting the AWS Lambda trigger we're gonna print log to our AWS CloudWatch so we can see also the traffic that going between our a producer instance to our consuming instance using AWS uh, MSK or using Kafka as a broker. So this is a very fun uh, project for developers who wanna extend their knowledge and learn about new uh, features and new services in the microservice world using uh, AWS MSK or a uh, Kafka as a solution as a broker. I really recommend you to try and if you're eating a roadblock, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to release a solution. So our last project, number five, Event Bridge Scheduler for Subscription Cancellation. And this is one more feature that AWS have the option to do cron task or the option to have scheduler that basically trigger and interact with our serverless or with other AWS service in the AWS platform. So in this specific um, solution, in this specific project, we're gonna reveal how you can use AWS Event Bridge Scheduler in order to a uh, cancel subscription for a specific user. So the way that it's go, it's a user is doing a request to cancel the subscription. This request trigger AWS Lambda function. Here again, you can use API Gateway and all of that are just like a big a macro of the solution. So the user eventually uh, trigger AWS Lambda function and this AWS Lambda function create a new uh, schedule in AWS Event Bridge uh, schedule in order to cancel the subscription, let's say at the end of the month. So this is the first step. Once it did it, we are waiting and we have a cron task that check if the date of the end of the subscription is eventually uh, reached. And once we reach out to the date of the end of the subscription, the event time-based uh, event bridge scheduler will trigger again AWS Lambda function. And this AWS Lambda function 
will remove our customer from paid customer table so we will no longer have access to our other feature that we have or we're gonna remove his license key anything that we can do in order to uh, finish his subscription and after that we're gonna also use a new AWS service AWS SCS or simple email solution in order to notify our user that his subscription have ended and he no longer have access to our a SaaS application or whatever system that you have. This is also a very cute, small uh, AWS real world a beginner as project for a developer who want to interact and know other AWS services that exist in AWS platform that will help you to understand and extend your knowledge of the solution you can build for future employer. So let's review all the five AWS real world projects that we just revealed in this amazing tutorial. The first one is serverless gym membership access. The next one, number two, is private and secure API solution. Number three will be CICD pipeline for containers application. Number four will be Kafka for beginners amazing solution for microservice or microservice world and our last solution and our last project in this tutorial is event bridge scheduler for subscription cancellation if you love the video and you want to learn more and start doing those solutions you can reach out to our youtube channel where we already have tutorials that will help you to build those amazing real world aws projects that will help you to gain the confidence and end on experience you need Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe and leave comment below and keep following because I'm going to release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS, about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.